Check out the crypto comeback. Bitcoin and Ethereum finishing in the green after a rough start to the day. And look how similarly these two cryptocurrencies have traded with the Nasdaq 100 this month. What was supposed to be a store value is now trading like a tech stock. So why the sudden shift in sentiment? Let's bring in Simplify Asset Management CEO and co-founder Paul Kim to break it down. Paul, great to have you on. Thank you for having me. Uh, yes, great question. And I, I agree with you completely. It's trading like a tech stock because we're all essentially waiting for the Fed to uh, come out and actually uh, lift rates as they've been telegraphing for months. And then most importantly, I think there's a lot of earnings coming through. So clearly the markets are struggling, the tech sector broadly, but Bitcoin, which trades essentially like the NASDAQ in the past few months, is waiting for a catalyst. And um, we're all off the highs and we're just waiting for the next leg, higher or lower. But it's really, again, all eyes on the Fed right now. So what is your positioning in Bitcoin right now? And are you just holding on to it or are you cycling out of it because there's so many unknowns, as you outlined? So we don't actively trade Bitcoin. We are much more of a strategic investor. Um, it's in one of our ETFs where we invested um, as a partial investment for advisors to get off zero. And I think that's OK. Much of the ETF world has been built around passively investing in exposures and Bitcoin at 1.8 trillion or crypto broadly at 1.8 trillion means it's an investable asset class. It's historically done very well. And right now it looks a lot like tech exposures, but clearly when the right catalysts come, it could go back to being more of a flight to safety or a gold 2.0. But for now, it looks like the NASDAQ 100. Uh, so what's your biggest position right now, Paul? Our largest position is basically uh, Bitcoin. I mean, that's the biggest mega cap in that space. And again, it's a very easy exposure to put on. Um, and from our platform perspective, uh, we offer a bunch of different betas, including U.S. large caps down to technology. And again, this is a very important, increasingly important beta for the advisor community out there. All right, Paul, great to get your thoughts. Thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Paul Kim. Karen, what do you make of Bitcoin here? We've certainly seen the NFT market cool off, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, activity there has, has gone way down. Right. Well, I think that as the institutional adoption of Bitcoin has evolved mm -hmm. to be pretty meaningful, right. whenever we see tough markets, we see all assets correlate to one, right? That just happens as people just pare down on everything when they want to take risk off. And I think that's what's happening here. So it's not a, a Bitcoin-specific sort of story at this point. Well, I feel like Bitcoin's the most liquid. It's right. the proxy for the space. Yeah. Dan? It's funny, you know, when you see those comparisons to like high growth tech stocks, I, I think Ethereum, I think ETH, and, and I say to myself, okay, if you, you know, you, you might not believe in DeFi, but you might believe in a lot of the Web3 stuff as it relates to communities and around right. NFTs and that sort of thing. And that's what I would say is really interesting, all those projects that are being built on that. The Bitcoin stuff is really weird. It does seem like it's a proxy for, you know, monetary, global monetary, this, and it's, you know, above my pay grade. It just is, you know what I mean? So um, ETH to me, if you want to make that tech stock thing and you want to kind of layer or leg into that, we have this catalyst coming up, this proof of work um, to proof of stake, and that should happen in the back half of this year. And that should give that some support when you see a pullback. And it does feel like it's going to pull back a little bit. I don't think it's coincidence that Bitcoin topped that when the Fed started to be responsible again, when they changed course back in November. Now, the huge bull case, in my opinion, for Bitcoin will be if the Fed pivots for whatever reason. I don't know what that reason is, but if this Fed blinks because the market sells off or something happens, that's the catalyst for Bitcoin to probably take out the all-time highs. It's interesting, but, you know, gold finally caught some legs when the Fed really went into overdrive. And, 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 and I know uh, Paul talked about it wasn't necessarily saying store value. One of the other dynamics we've discussed on this desk where is that mega cap tech stocks almost became the treasury market for crypto players uh, where they were parking cash. And I think there's certainly something to be said about some of the price action we've seen as folks have had to deal with tax losses or and or actually just dealing with the volatility.